and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of mess behind me right now. I was basically in the process of packing my hospital bag and then realised that I scheduled in my head to do a September haul vlog. Um, there's not going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to buy in September. If you're currently wondering what the date is when I'm actually filming this, it's currently like the 18th of August or something like that. Um, and I know for a fact I'm not going to buy a lot of stuff in September, mainly because it is my birthday month. I'm also having a baby shower and I am about to buy a double buggy, which is literally going to wipe all my money. <laughs> so I did buy some stuff in my hospital bag, so I thought I might as well merge the two together. So this is going to be like a baby slash September haul vlog. Let's get started. So I'll do the little bits first that were in my hospital bag, which I've already washed. Um, so I can't show you the labels. Uh, these are from Asda, they were in the sale. Um, if you've watched any of my vlogs, I am going to try to pump with baby girl, um, depending on how that goes. I don't have any nursing clothes though. So this is my going home jumper. It is this, it is just a grey jumper with a poppered side here. So you can pop it, lift it up and be able to breastfeed. Again, I got this in a huge size because I'm currently massive and... There's nothing worse than tight clothing after you've given birth. Uh, this is the George maternity range. This was originally £12.50 and I got this for £6 in their sale, which I thought was quite good. So yeah, that was coming to the hospital with me, hence being thrown that way. And I also bought this. This is a lounge set. So I know people say you shouldn't wear black in the hospital, but um, I like this and I would wear this afterwards. Again, this is a nursing set. So that is the t-shirt as you can see you just put it to the side to be able to nurse and then these are like the loungy leggingy type cuffed bottoms again it is the georgia maternity range so this was 18 pound i believe down to nine pound so nine pound for a set of nice pajamas and they are really thick they're really good quality so yeah i'll definitely wear these in hospital hopefully um, and I would definitely wear them afterwards, whether I nurse or not, because they're actually really cute pajamas, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, that was the stuff that was in my hospital bag. Let me show you the stuff that's in here. So we'll do Primark first. These are all Primark bags, but they're not actually full of Primark stuff, if that makes any sense. Um, so Orlando is now in four to five clothing and he is only two. Um, I am starting to buy five to six clothing whenever I see things on sale. However, these are the last two bits he needed in size four to five. And they are zip up hoodies. These are perfect for him, especially because he's such a sweaty kid, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so they're like the cheap Primark ones. It was four pound each. Um, I just love them because they're so much easier than slipping over his head. So yeah, I got two of these. One, two, basically one is for nursery so I can get covered and dirty and I don't care. And one is at home. So that is all he got for four to five clothing from Primark. Also in Primark, you can tell it's that type of season. I'm not sniffing them, I just love Uggs. I am Ugg obsessed. If anyone knows me, I'm either in trainers or Uggs. It's nothing else apart from that. Never heels, never really sandals. Um, these are the size six ones. I remember thinking when these were like four pound and they're now seven quid. What a rip off. So yeah, I'm size six. Um, they have them in black as well, but I didn't have enough money to get both. Um, I do have a pair of real Ugg Australia boots. However, they are very, very expensive. And normally I have one that I'm currently wearing and one under the bed. But because we didn't go to Florida in 2020, we were going to go? What year is it now? No. Yeah, we're going to go in 2021. Because we didn't go this year, but we're going next year. I don't have a spare pair. So the only pair of Uggs I've got are the ones that I'm wearing. Um, so basically, I didn't want to take them out in yucky weather to the park. They're more like cute, warm boots to go shopping in. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So these are back in stock in Primark and they are £7. So that is what I bought for myself. How exciting. Other Primark stuff that I have got. So... Brought these for baby girl and these were on sale but i don't know if the sales stickers are on there no they're not um yeah these were originally eight pound so they are the jungle book set so i don't actually know these are boys or girls but i thought she could 
scale them up i don't know um so yeah these are eight pounds but i think i paid about four pound for three t-shirts which i didn't think was too bad and then i also got the matching shorts at oh, my hair stuck <laughs> and these were five pound down to three pound but these are only a two pack i don't know if they're maybe a three pack i'm not sure have i been mugged off i feel like why would you do three t-shirts for only two pairs of shorts Don't say. If you guys have things, can you let me know if they're meant to be a two pack or a three pack? But anyway, too late now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got those two for baby girl. These are in size uh, 12 to 18 months. So yeah, just slowly buying little bits and pieces in sale so I don't have to buy everything at once. Like I would have to if I didn't do this, if that makes no sense. Baby brain. As you can tell, my brain is completely not with it. I am currently cooking dinner ready for tonight i've got my covid jab tonight i am trying to film this i'm trying to do a load of washing i'm trying to stay quiet because all i know is the sleep next door and um, i'm trying to wash all this stuff i'm trying to pack my hospital bag i'm just my brain has gone a bit like ah you're nearly 35 weeks pregnant sort your crap out and that's not happening anyway back to this so also from primark i got these two so this is the buzz lightyear swim set i have shown you this in another vlog and this is the Rex one. I did mention that I was going to go get the size up, mainly because these were £10 down to £5. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I think that for some suits is such a good value for money. And I'm hoping that he, if he hasn't grown too much, he can wear these in Florida. So yeah, got two of those for Orlando. So I won't go into too much detail on those because, like I said, I did buy these in my last vlog, I believe. And then the last couple of bits that I brought from Primark are for my hospital bag, hence again why I'm filming this now. Um, so first up, as they have got Uggs in store, that means they're getting rid of flip-flops. They had no flip-flops in my size for the hospital bag. They only had a small, which is size three to four, and I'm size six. Um, so I had to buy men's ones. <laughs> they are only 90p though. Oh no, these were a pound. Um, so yeah, I had to get men's small, which is size six to seven, but that's fine. Like they're black, they're flip-flops, who really cares? So yeah, they're for my hospital bag. And then Dan has had the same pair of flip-flops ever since we met, so seven years ago now. And I mean, he refuses to throw them away. They've got no grip underneath whatsoever. Um, they are literally molded to his feet. They are, I think, animal, if that brand still exists. But anyway, um, so I don't want those to go in my hospital bag because they will stink. Um, and so I bought him some 90p flip-flops. They are like the same sort of like camo design that his favorite flip-flops are so i feel like it just maybe he might wear these i don't know but these are going in my hospital bag for him so these are 90p and they are size 10 to 11. i couldn't remember if down street was size 9 or size 10 so i just got these they're flip-flops they're 90p it's fine also for my hospital bag i got some pants these lovely full briefs for my hospital bag. Again, won't go in much detail because I am gonna film a hospital bag vlog, but these are three pounds. Um, I also got oh, where's that on there? Oh, there it is. Two lip balms. I'm not really a lip balm person, but these are vegan friendly. The flavours look like they will smell nice. This one is a mango and peach, and this one is a watermelon and raspberry. Uh, they were a pound each so yep yeah, they are going in my hospital bag as well i also got some more hair ties because mine keep on snapping for some reason so this is the 60 pack for one pound and then i got a new hairbrush i only wear the cheap ones i do have tangle teasers but because my hair is so thick um it doesn't really brush with my hair very well so i just got the cheap old primark ones and this was one pound fifty oh no that's in euros don't know how much I paid. I'm guessing like 150, 180, something like that. But yeah, so again, these are for my hostel bag. No, I will not be taking all these, um, but they can go over there for the time being. Last up from Primark, I got this. I got this travel set. I always say I was going to buy one of these and I never actually got round to it. But this one was really, really cheap. This was one pound a quid. A quid. And next class is a seven piece. Um, but I think some of the pieces are cast as the funnel and the scraper to get everything in. Um, again, this is because I wanted to buy mouthwash to take to the hospital, but I refused to pay £1 for a travel-sized hand mouthwash 
when I've got a big mouth wash at home that I can pour this into if that makes sense but yeah so anyway this was a pound and these again will be used for my hospital bag and I like that they've kind of got like little labels they don't have the labels that I need <laughs> I might get Emma from Buttercup Gifts to do some or you know I'll just look and go yeah that's mouthwash because that's bright blue but yeah so that's the hospital bag and then lastly I do already have a pack of these but I love Marie. I've always loved Aristocats when I was little. Um, I love these designs and they are £4 down to £2. And for Marceline's you can't go wrong. We used to go through so many with Orlando. So yeah, this is what I got for Babe Girl and that was £4 down to £2. That is everything from Primark. Let me show you some more. Sorry if I've moved position slightly. I had to take out the load of washing, put in a new load, sort out the dinner, stir it, put it back in the oven. So yeah, anyway, let's go in. Um, so from Boots. More stuff for the nappy bag. I got these two packs of the Pantham. So the nappy care ointment. Uh, it's for nappy rash. Well, from the causes of nappy rash. Um, we tend to use Sudocrem. We do have Sudocrem around the house. Um, however, I like to buy the big tub of Sudocrem, which are like five, six pound a tub. And of course, they are way too big to put in the nappy bags. I used to have little sample pots. They have all disappeared within the last couple of months. I don't know where they've gone. So I bought two of these because these are a lot cheaper than the mini tubs of Sudogram, which are like three pounds for like 25 grams. Um, so these are two for five pounds in boots. And of course you get boots points and everything for using this. So yeah, they are for basically for the nappy bags. Um, and then I also got these really pissed off. I went to the, um, Till and I thought these were gonna be like two pound fifty and they weren't over five pound. So that makes me really pissed off. Basically, I needed a water wipe so for the hospital. Um, I refused to buy the branded water wipes, but I also didn't want to go to the hospital with the only with the Audi own brand ones because the hospital last time when I said I was using Audi's uh, formula milk for Orlando, the one of the midnight wives, I don't know who she was, I was still a little bit high. Well, not high, but you know what I mean. I was like so like dazed from the fact that I just had a c-section basically slated the fact that I was going to use Audi milk even though like it's well recommended it within the society of formula um so I didn't want to go in with Audi wipes maybe like so anyway I bought these these are Pampers Aqua Pure so they are five pounds <laughs> three packs of wipes what a fucking rip off absolute rip off but this will do for the hospital and then for the first couple of weeks when baby is here i will use the audi water wipes and then once they've run out she gets the normal audi brand ones the cheap ones but yeah so these were five pound i think that's an absolute diabolical but if you're looking at buying four packs of water wipes i think it was like 10 11 pounds but how can you charge that for flipping wipes but yeah, anyway, so I got those and they are from Boots and they were on £5. I think they were actually on special offer. I don't have a receipt here, but yeah, they I think they were on some sort of special offer. I think they were meant to be like £7. But yeah, anyway, let's get on to the last few bits. Very randomly, I got these. Just snappy bags, nothing fancy about these, but I got these in um, Wilco and they are a pound for 150 bags. And I do tend to like the smell of these. And I also like the fact that it's actually the clip lock. Lid. Um, not a lot of places do that anymore. So yeah, I've got four packs of those. That is completely an utter overkill, but this is me nesting and stocking up, ready for when baby girl arrives. So I don't have to run to the shop just to get a bag and a half of So yes, that's what I got from Wilco. And then from Morrison's, I went and got a clothes area. If you guys care, probably don't. Um, baby related, I got some clippers. These were two pound. I do love the Tommy Tippy ones. We do already have a healthcare set. I basically just wanted these to take to the hospital with me because Orlando's nails were huge when he was born. So, sorry. So I had to cut his nails straight away. So I want to take baby clippers with me, but I don't want to take our ones because I'll be very upset if they go missing. And I also got some nipple cream. So there is the purple brand la la something um that everyone recommends that nipple cream but it is so disgustingly overpriced it's unreal 
Um, I never breastfed or pumped with Orlando, so I don't know how my nipples are going to cope. Um, I don't want to pay like £11 for a little tube of nipple cream. When this was on sale for £1.50 in um, Morrison's. So yeah, no idea if it's going to be nice, if it's going to smell alright, but I thought for £1.50 I will give it a go if I need to. Um, again, a lot of people said that they never used their nipple cream in the hospital or that the hospital actually provided it for them. So I thought I would buy a cheap one. So I have got one ready if I want to use it. And if I don't, it's not going to be a waste of a, like, of a tenner. So yeah, that's what I got from Morrison. Um, all I know, I got some new trainers. <laughs> so from Sports Direct, I got him some Nike trainers. This is using up the rest of his birthday money, which if you've watched his birthday present vlog, he had loads of money given to him for dollars, for savings, and to buy new shoes and clothes. So he does already have these, but I bought these in the size up to so their size eight, but Nike does infants in eight and a half. So yeah, this is turning in eight and a half. Um, it is these, they are the Quartz Borough Low Twos. These are amazing. He loves them. They fit his feet really, really well. They were from Sports Direct and they were 20 pound. So again, he's not in size eight shoes yet, but this is ready. So when he has his next growth spurt, it is there ready. Along with his Lightning McQueen shoes that he's obsessed with that you would have seen in his birthday vlog because I also bought those shoes with his birthday money. The last shop is Asta. I probably should have done this with the first stuff, but like I said, baby brain going everywhere. Um, this, if you've watched my Free From Facebook vlog, um, I needed to buy some Moses basket sheets. So I've got a twin pack here. I got them in pink. I was going to get white and then I was going to get grey. And then I thought, no, screw it, just get big. <laughs> so this was a two pack. It's the twin pack of Moses Baskets fitted sheets. These were five pounds, so two pound fifty each. So I didn't think that was too bad a price. So yeah, I need to wash them. So they're going straight into the wash after this vlog to get them all ready to go in the Moses basket. Um, again, if you see my self isolation, happy birthday down vlog, you will know that we went into isolation. So I bought this next item because on the day of Dan's birthday, Orlando was meant to have a swimming lesson that I was meant to take Orlando to so Dan could not do it and none of my swimsuits fit me. So I bought this really cute swimsuit for three pound, a maternity swimsuit for three pound. And it is really, really cute. So it's got the ruched size here and it's a halter neck like that. It is so nice, like nicer than like normal maternity ones. And because of the print, you can't actually tell that it's maternity. Um, this was originally £14 and I got it for three quid. So a bit gutted I didn't get to wear it when I was meant to wear it. Um, but we are planning when I go on mat leave to take Orlando for fun fun swimming um, before baby girl arrives because he won't be able to do like any recreational swimming for a couple of months after the baby is born. So I will get to use this but it's only £3. It's got a nice low like cropped back. Um, so yeah, I would definitely wear this. If not, when I'm pregnant, I will use it postpartum. But yeah, so that is what I got. That is three pound. That was the only thing I got for me. Um, and then lastly, again, I have already brought this, but it was on my to buy list. Um, I needed to buy a swimsuit for baby girl in zero to three months. Um, so buy this. <laughs> So we did buy this in 9 to 12 for hopefully when we go to America. But this is just so cute. And it was £7 down to £4. Look at how tiny it is. It's got Nala on it and rainbows. I just love the colour. Um, so yeah, we got this in the hope that we will take her for her first swimming like we did with Orlando. And Orlando was like six to eight weeks. So we're hoping we can do the same with her, especially because Orlando will want to get in that pool. So yeah. Swimsuit for her. And then lastly... As you can tell, I've got a lot of stuff in sale. I did actually get more clothes than the years to sale, um, but I got too excited with washing all the baby clothes and starting to pack my nappy bag, um, my hospital bag. They can't actually show you what I bought because it's all been washed, labels cut off and put in separate places. So I can't show you the majority of it. But the one thing I can show you is this. It is a multi-pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven t-shirts 
for Orlando in size five to six. This was £15 down to £8. I just think that's such good value for money and they're really nice colours. It is very hard to find plain t-shirts for boys. They always have like some sort of football or like gaming show or something on there for boys t-shirts. So it's very hard to just find plain t-shirts that aren't weird and wonderful colours. So I was very happy with that. And yeah, that was £8 for seven t-shirts. So like £1.12 t-shirt, something like that. So that's even cheaper than Primark, that is. So yeah, this is the start of his five to six clothing. So yeah, that is everything that I have bought in September, hence August. Um, as you can tell, it is a very much a mix and match situation. I didn't want to slow down on the vlogs i did want them to still try and be weekly where possible um life is just getting a bit hectic at the moment and i didn't want to stop my whole vlogs because i do love doing them i do love showing you guys what i got especially all the sale stuff but yeah so i'm gonna put all this stuff away soon hopefully probably now and then i have to start unpacking and repacking my hospital bag so i can do my hospital vlog and i'm planning to film that tonight so dan can play fifa when i'm feeling all sad for myself after my favorite chat but as always i thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have a super magical day and i will see you real soon bye